Microsoft's AI just diagnosed complex diseases with 85% accuracy, while human doctors only got 20% right. XAI just raised a mind-blowing $10 billion, and Anthropic's revenue exploded to $4 billion a year. That's 4x growth in just six months. The AI race isn't slowing down, it's accelerating at a terrifying pace. Let's dive into what just happened. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're breaking down the most insane AI developments from the past 48 hours, and trust me, there's a lot to unpack. From Microsoft potentially revolutionizing healthcare to a mysterious AI ban taking over Spotify, we've got stories that'll blow your mind. But first, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. We break down the latest AI news every week so you stay ahead of the curve. Let's jump in. All right, let's start with the bombshell that could change healthcare forever. Microsoft just dropped something called the MAI Diagnostic Orchestrator, basically an AI doctor that's embarrassing human physicians. Here's the crazy part. They tested this AI on 304 of the most complex medical cases from the New England Journal of Medicine, these aren't your everyday, I have a cold situations. These are the medical mysteries that keep doctors up at night. The results? The AI nailed 85.5% of the diagnoses. The human doctors? Only 20%. That's not a typo. The AI was literally four times better than experienced physicians with five to 20 years under their belts. But here's what's even wilder. It's also cheaper. The AI spent $2,297 per case while human doctors averaged $2,163. So it's more accurate and more cost-effective. How does it work? Think of it like having a virtual medical dream team. The AI simulates multiple specialist doctors working together. One generates hypotheses, another orders tests, and another monitors costs. It's like having House MD, but without the attitude and with a much better success rate. Microsoft's AI CEO, Mustafa Suleiman, called this a big step towards medical superintelligence. And honestly, when you're beating doctors by that margin, it's hard to argue. Now let's talk money, because the numbers are getting absolutely ridiculous. XAI, Elon Musk's AI company, just secured $10 billion in funding. But here's the kicker. That's $5 billion in straight cash equity, and another $5 billion in debt. This comes just six months after they raised $6 billion in December. Do the math, that's $16 billion raised in less than a year. For context, that's more than the GDP of some small countries. Meanwhile, Anthropic, the company behind Claude, is absolutely crushing it. Their revenue hit a $4 billion annual run rate. That's up 4X from the beginning of 2025. To put that in perspective, they're growing faster than almost any tech company in history. But here's where it gets spicy. Anthropic is facing some serious competition. Cursor, the AI coding tool, just poached two of Claude Code's top leaders. The talent war is real, folks. Speaking of talent wars, Mark Zuckerberg just made a massive play. Meta announced their new Super Intelligence Labs and hired 11 top researchers from OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Anthropic. Leading this new division, Alexander Wang, who just stepped down as Scale AI's CEO, and Nat Friedman, the former GitHub CEO. These aren't random hires, these are industry titans. According to reports, Zuck has been offering some researchers up to $300 million over four years. That's $100 million in the first year alone. When you're throwing around that kind of money, you know the stakes are high. One OpenAI employee said it feels like someone has broken into their home. The poaching is so aggressive that OpenAI is apparently shutting down for a week to give employees a break and renegotiate compensation packages. While the big players are throwing billions around, the open source community is quietly revolutionizing AI access. Google just released Gemma 3N, an AI model that runs on your phone with just 2 GB of memory. It's the first model under 10 billion parameters to score over 1,300 on LM Arena. That means you can have GPT-level AI running locally on your device. Tencent dropped Hunyuan A13B, matching OpenAI's O1 performance with 256K context length. 
Black Forest Labs open sourced their Flux image editing model. Even Baidu, yes, the Chinese Google, open sourced their Ernie 4.5 models that supposedly beat DeepSeek. This is huge because it means AI isn't just for billion dollar companies anymore. Anyone with a decent computer can now run powerful AI models. Now for some stories that sound like they're from a sci-fi movie. First up, UC Davis created a brain chip that translates thoughts into speech. Not typing, not selecting words, actual speech with intonation, emphasis, even singing. Imagine paralyzed patients being able to speak naturally again. This isn't decades away, it's happening now. But here's where it gets weird. There's an AI band called The Velvet Sundown on Spotify with over 400,000 monthly listeners. The band doesn't exist, it's entirely AI generated. They released two albums last month and people are actually vibing to it. The music industry is about to get very interesting. And in the AI fails category, Anthropic let Claude AI run a vending machine for a month. The result? It called security on customers, gaslighted users, started selling tungsten cubes, and gave massive discounts when pressured. It never made a profit. Turns out AI might be great at diagnosing diseases, but terrible at retail. For my developers out there, the tools dropping this week are insane. OpenAI launched their Deep Research API with two new models. The O3 Deep Research costs $10 per million dollar input tokens and $40 for output. They also have webhooks now for long-running tasks. Anthropic added hooks to Claude code, basically shell commands that run automatically at specific points. And they launched desktop extensions for one-click MCP server deployment. But the biggest news? Cloudflare's pay-per-crawl marketplace. Websites can now charge AI companies for scraping their data. Even better, new Cloudflare sites will block AI crawlers by default. The free data party might be over. Quick fire round of major moves. Grammarly acquired Superhuman, the 30-month email app. AI productivity suite Incoming Genesis AI raised $105 million to build AI for robots. Chai Discovery's AI designs antibodies with 20% success rate. That's 100x better than traditional methods. X, Twitter, will use AI agents to write community notes. So what does all this mean? We're watching the AI industry mature at warp speed. Microsoft's medical AI shows we're approaching superhuman performance in specialized fields. The funding numbers show investors believe AGI is closer than ever. And the open source movement ensures this technology won't just belong to big tech. But we're also seeing the challenges, from Claude's vending machine disaster to the talent wars tearing companies apart. The next 12 months are going to be absolutely wild. What story surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, smash that like button. It really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's AI News Roundup. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.